Okay, so when we last left off, um, I just showed you how to use Meteorite. Uh, now let's do some real stuff, like let's add stuff to the database through a form. And let's just clear out all of our uh, boilerplate code and all the code we had before. <clears throat> so first, we need a template. We need our form. So. Um, Let's make it as simple as possible. We'll just call it add item. So we'll just be adding an item to the form or to the uh, database. And using handlebars, we'll call that template up there. And now let's add a couple of uh, fields. Let's make an input field and let's give it a class. Of the item, and we'll make a button, and we'll give it a class of submit. Okay, so now I've just completely deleted the meteor is client or uh, is server, so we've just got meteor as client, and what we're gonna do. <coughs> Let me see if I can put these side by side, make it a little easier. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to say, whenever this button with the class of submit is clicked, we're going to trigger an event that uh, says that submits whatever value is in uh, the class the item, and we'll submit it to a uh, database in in Meteor their uh, databases are called collections or their database is called Mongo uh, it uses collections and uh, they use a global namescape up here so instead of like saying like var you just leave it as just the name so for instance we'll make a collection called items and this will store all of our items we can say items equals new meteor dot collection and then we'll give it a name of items. So this is the actual collection in Mongo. Uh, this is the variable we'll be work we'll be using in all of our JavaScript. Uh, so that's that's the difference between these two. So we'll end that with a semicolon, and then come down here. So if Meteor is client, so if it's if it's on the client side, uh, not on the server side, because we can't really use the server side uh, for much yet. So uh, this is like a client interaction. So we're gonna put it over here on is client. So if Meteor is client. Um, so template add item events and now we can specify an event um, events in Meteor if you go over to the documentation and then just find uh, event maps and click the link it'll take you to a list of all the different event events you can use and the events are pretty cool so you can say something like if they click accept like anything with the class accept if they click it then perform a function and there are all kinds of different events like they can say key down um, and actually down here is a list of them so I can do click or you know, double click uh, even if they just focus on a text area you can start firing JavaScript, uh, mouse enter, mouse leave, key down. So we'll just do a click. So whenever somebody clicks this button with the class of submit, so we'll just specify the class instead of the button too, then it's going to respond with this function. Um, and See, so 
what should the function do? The function should update the database. So items dot insert. We're actually inserting, creating new things into the database. Um, and then this is just like a JSON format. So items insert. And this will be our field item will just be our field like you can name this anything you want um, but we're gonna map it to this so we'll say item and then we've got jQuery available so we can say the item val and that'll grab the value of this so if somebody types something in here it's gonna have a value whether they hit anything or not it'll have that value attribute will have something in it. So whenever they click submit, it's going to perform a function that uh, says items insert. And if we go over to uh, the documentation, you can look up over here on where it says collection in italics. That means like your collection. So our collection is items dot insert and then you specify the field and the value that you want to put into it. So again, our field is item. So when we look this up in the database, we'll look up item and it'll show us what it is. And our uh, value is that. So now if we save this and try it out, just type in some garbledy gook. Now the way to look up whether or not you've done this right is to type the name of your uh, collection, the JavaScript name of it, dot find and that will return uh, everything and then fetch will actually return it. So if we open that up we can see that we've submitted that. So now if we type in item 2 and hit submit and then do the same exact thing. Now we've got two objects in here. See, now we've got an item two, and this first one is the same one that we just submitted. Um, so that's how you add things to the database. Um, if you want, you can go on, and you can uh, we can say we can clear out. set that value to be empty. So when somebody clicks the submit button we're going to insert something into the database and then we're going to clear out that form field. And then if we run that same command again we've got our new hello item. Um, and every every Mongo uh, object has like this crazy randomly generated ID so don't worry about that. You don't have to memorize that or anything. It just, it just helps Mongo uh, keep things straight. So anyway, that's how you add things to, uh, to a Mongo database using Meteor.